What's up, guys? That wasn't very charming, but. <laughs> it's your boy Dragon Age Pedir today. I wanna to play some people playground with you guys because last time since I played it, which has been a bit, I think, they added so much new stuff. Like, they've got an accelerator now, which is like a charged energy weapon. They got a Arcalyx caster. It fires heat seeking projectiles. So let's check this out. And, and, and a bunch of more. They got like temperature shit now too. They got a, a heat ray and a freeze ray. That's very interesting. Though this seems to be frozen as hell. Let's check actually. I can inspect this if I'm correct. Here, minus. 244 degrees Celsius. What if I heat it up? Maybe that's a bit too much. <laughs> but this is very interesting. So what I wonder, because I was experimenting a little bit with some of the stuff. She got some of the cool stuff, like when you heat something up and you put it in water, you got the satisfying shh. But I wonder why it's constant now with the bones. Oh, I see. Oh, that's it's quite hot actually. Let me get the freeze ray going. That's also quite sharp to my eyes. I don't really like that. That should be enough. Balanced as all things should be. It's interesting. I was also in, uh, experimenting with, he got this, since these things, they, uh, they actually become quite hot as you can see. Now, I wonder, when it freezes, okay this will just make it more hot, okay, that's fair point. Uh, Inspect this. Can I inspect this? I cannot. And this must be quite loud. Let me change that. Audio master. Ambience. Okay, that's better. So we have a Tesla coil which makes it go hotter. Now I think yeah, there's a Oh that's hot as hell. It's not as hot as I thought it would be though. How about this? I think it will break. Ooh. So now the question is if we throw this away I wonder actually if I just focus this one on this. Okay, so it will only reach a max of minus 270. Whatever. So, now the big question is well, I've already tested it. How about this? Now that's interesting. Let's uh, freeze this right next to it. I think it will break. That's very bright. Interesting that this can break actually. Oh, they had, no, they did not add any melee. Oh, they added a, added a lance. 
and that's it. Still nice though. There we go. So I wonder. Because you see how hot that gets. Ah. But of course. Uh, I wonder if I throw a human on that. Ah, oh, that's a shame, actually. Press it like that again. So I want to show you how big that beam gets. Now, I want to unfreeze this. It's a good 500 action. That's interesting, it doesn't get as hot when you... Uh... Sorry, I, I got it. If this is too sensitive for you, because you get, I got epilepsy like me, just look away. But I, I'm really just doing this for research, and not just like experimenting in this game. Uh, freeze, and then we dip it in water. But what I want to know, so let's. I'm sorry, I could have done this immediately. But, uh, yeah. Is what if we drop a human on it? So it just burns immediately. Basically. And then we just drop him in. There we go. What else was there that I wanted to know? Actually... Okay. That's very interesting, actually. Ooh. And it heats up the water. It's like a constant... That's interesting. Oof. No, go. Go back. Um, is there anything else I wanted to test? I'm not sure if I've shown this. I probably have, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't on all guns back then. But pretty much every gun that is able to show it has this little detail now. Look. It actually has a mechanic now, you know, behind shooting it. The, a, a pistol is better to shoot, this, or this revolver even. I wish the trigger would have uh, moved with it as well, but it is what it is. Kind of everything. A minigun. The, the whole uh, rotary thing moves. Got this little musket pistol. There's no trigger for it, which is very interesting. And I like how it's not instantly. Whereas the revolver. Okay, no, I, I got that wrong. They got the Glock. I really like those little details, especially this. 
And then you got the... I think the AK in the... What's this? M13? Or M16? They got a nice showcase of it. Especially the AK. And the, the extra sound that comes with it. I like that a lot. Those little details, I, I live for those. The shotgun. Uh, what else? I said, uh, oh yeah. Obviously you get the heater again. It has the little pro tree lights. Um, you get the rifle. This is a, it's a semi auto, okay. So we got the peep, the peep push. <laughs> it's not as visible, but it's right above the iron sight here. Does this have a. No, doesn't seem like it. They made this one way better. I remember when it was just a, a fully white thing with obviously this part still on it. It looks way better now. I just wish um, that this would fire, you know, this whole thing would go and then a new one appears, but that it would look better than this. No, it just kind of looks like, yeah, it, it just looks a bit scuffed, in my opinion. Same with the crossbow. It could have been done better. It, now it just kind of, you know, it exists. Oh yeah, and the deagle, obviously. Love that. Love that so much. No, there's nothing interesting there. Any new bombs? What's a spike grenade? I don't think I've seen this one before. Okay. Does it stick? Okay, no, so it's not... Oof. I think there's actually a achievement over here that I can gather to stop a sticky grenade. That did not work. Ooh, we did cut half though. Do I have to be really close? There we go. Guardian EMP. Can I repair it? That'd be funny. What if I shoot it? That does not work. Alright, let's just uh, put him out of his misery. There we go. I also like that uh, when you shoot him, let's actually put this right against the wall. And with the flint lock, why not? I'm pretty sure I already showed that, but I don't care. I like showcasing it again. How uh, you got the details. Now you're gonna be hanging for a bit, mate. You got the little blood splatter of him bleeding. Quite nice. I like details like that. I wonder what happens if I just Okay, that happens. 
I really like it when you, I don't know if that's still the case, but when you basically blaze him. Damn. In the past you couldn't get them bare bone like that. Put them in the gun. It didn't do it. Hold up. I think he actually has to be for it to happen. What if it? Oh, he's actually missing an arm. No, but it's nice anyway to see all these little spots. It's nice. Uh, anything else interesting? I mean, you got the iron cannon, but I'm pretty sure I already showed that one. Uh, snipe. No, there's nothing else. The, no, I didn't show this one actually. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's just put on the whole crowd. Damn, frames are very good actually with this many humans. Probably did something to the optimization. Damn, those frames though are great. Of like, it's like what, 20 humans? Oh yeah. Time to kill the frames. Uh, right in the center. No, I don't want to spawn on that one. No. Okay. Not that heavy. That's remarkable. Shit like the rocket launcher. And loose. Oof. So there go my frames. All those parts. <laughs> That's actually dust. Huh, interesting. So I wonder what's left. So a bunch of shit is inside of each other. So that's just how the game collision kind of be. Oi. Interesting, a lot of them are still kind of alive. Interesting. That was a real nice action. Uh, any new bombs? A spike bomb now. What's this? Fusion bomb? I think. Oh. It's a fusion bomb. Oh, a thermonuclear bomb. Never mind, I know what it is. <laughs> What's this? A plastic explosive? Damn, that's some effect. It's no range on that. It's not that big. I wonder. Okay, so it's just around here. Well, anyways, that was quite interesting. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And see you guys next time. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Goodbye.